At last, my journey is complete. It's been two months and over 6,000 miles of almost non-stop swimming. After a summer buffet of krill and tiny fish, I'm so full that I'll barely eat for the next five to six months. And to top it all off, I'm 11 months pregnant and expecting any day. I made this epic journey from my usual feeding grounds in British Columbia all the way down here to Baja California to warmer winter waters. This will be the birthplace of my second calf. Like you, we come here to escape the coldest part of the winter. For us, however, it is more than just a vacation. We must escape the icy water to survive. My calf will be born with very little insulation and must gain almost her own body weight in blubber before we head back north once again. She will learn her body's capabilities through experimentation and by watching other whales as they perform the acrobatic stunts we are famous for. We do these things for many reasons. Of course they are the males, always showing off and competing for mates. But it's also about strengthening social bonds, communication and even sometimes just having a bit of fun. The most extraordinary thing about this time of year though has to be the singing. It goes on almost constantly and creates a choir that can be heard for thousands of miles. I don't think there is a more beautiful voice in all the world than that of a crooning male humpback. Although I might be a little bit biased. enjoy following us around and watching us. We don't really mind it as long as you give us our space and treat us with respect. The truth is, we are curious about you also. You are an enigma. You seem to love us now. But it wasn't long ago that your kind slaughtered over 90% of us and the killing continues in some places. You use our home as a garbage disposal choking us and all other life in the ocean. Your monstrous chips and machines create perpetual noise and destroy everything in their path, including the largest whales. And you continue to take from the sea virtually everything you can get your hands on. Can you see that you're risking every life on this planet, including your own? But I know that there is more to you than that. I have seen the compassion and gentleness inside some of you as well. It is that part of you that I appeal to. There is still time to make amends to us and to the whole natural world. Now is the moment to put selfishness aside and take a stand to protect the rights of all beings so that we may continue to live in harmony on this blue and green planet.